Hello and welcome to Spotlight. And this week we're looking at insurmountable. Normal difficulty Hopefully or isn't. insurmountable. Challenging but doable. <laughs> That's me. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> Very good. Okay, doable. so we were recording some Spotlight videos and I was saying to Tony, like, um, most of the games that I just, like, I do, like, the Steam demo first is Tangerines and stuff like that. I was saying, man, most of those weird, like, little demo games, I just play them and do Tangerines on them now. So I don't have, like, a yeah. super big backlog of Spotlight games. But I was like, I always play these epic, I always look at these epic store games, right? And I go, ooh, this could be, like, an interesting one to try out. And it's always, yeah, they- like a deeply flawed game with maybe some redeeming yeah. qualities. I was like, that sounds a good idea to do a spotlight on because yeah. the, I could show it off and be like, hey, here's a slice of this game and maybe there's something there for people or maybe, you know, it's just be complete trash, but I won't waste too much time on it. Yeah, because they normally, like, look good. Like, like I feel like that the style, is, it has like, a good style normally and then it's like, oh, but the game... It was like, successfully a complete a mountain... Flawed. You have to navigate your character on the task oh, to mark it? goal. Time will not pass and your stat will not change until your character moves. Left click a valid tile to add a checkpoint to which the character should move. You yeah. can add more checkpoints by clicking on the valid tiles. So this is a turn-based Click on the file checkpoint making. again to start. I thought it was like a climbing game. Yeah. Right click to start the character or remove <laughs> the final checkpoint. This? Ultimately, you can press the mouse to move. Okay. Why does you think mutually exclusive? You thought your adventure uh, begins. You cash gave her the enormous mountain landscape you oh, traveled yeah. across the globe seeking out adventure. <laughs> but this island is like nothing you've seen before. As far as you can tell, it is largely unexplored. The only information you can find were a few rumors about an unknown occupying force. On your way here, you stumbled across abandoned property and lost places. You wonder what happened here. What secrets there and it is keeping? Then you shake your head. It might be nice to have some answers, but your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That is why you are here. That's what drives you. I got an achievement, guys. Log in. Right here we go. Reach the summit. Okay. Uh, strategy game. Can I not? I want to rotate the camera so I'm looking downwards more. Yeah. Well, oh, we... middle mouse. There we go. I want to look like that. Oh, okay. True, true. Oh, OG strategy game. So let's go. Go here. I guess. Start walking. So I'm assuming. So you're being watched, like you think you're being watched, like you got like paranoia, is that what the purple bar means? Oh, there's someone who's controlling me, I don't really understand, you know? Oh. Camera control. Hold the V key to look around. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I'm just, I'm just testing out all of the controls, Tony, you know? Yep, yep. A gust of wind catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You fail wildly with your arms trying to keep your balance. Suddenly, someone grabs your waist and pulls you from the edge. That was close. Just a second later and you would have fallen to your death. You sternly tell yourself that you really have to pay more attention. No need to press your luck when the danger is at every turn. Your knees still weak. Your arms are heavy. Mum spaghetti. You look and you turn and look at the rescuer. This is a young woman in a threadbare anorak. This is a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at her hand-carved charm. It is a soft glow, is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and says, without saying a word, holds some provisions for you to take. I guess I have to accept the gift. You want to give someone in return so you search through your bag. You finally find someone to look up. The strange woman has gone, a bizarre meeting, but you can't help but feel grateful for her. Oh, I've got an oxygen bottle now. You can your inventory any time by pressing the button on the screen or using the corresponding hotkey. Right click. When your character is standing still, certain items are consumed when they are used. Others equipped to your character. Right click items to your mouse to use them. Click and hold the left mouse button to drag and drop items into other slots. When you find an item, you have to put it into your inventory. You will lose it when you close your inventory. Some items can be used multiple times as indicated by the usage bar of the item. If an item cannot barely be used, it is displayed but in a darker color. You can view more information about an item by hovering your mouse over it. So I need to move this over here. And how much... I, I think I've got good oxygen. Yeah, I've got max oxygen, so we should be good for a bit. So can I climb up here? Can I climb here instead of going around? Let's have a look. Let's move the camera about. So that way... Hmm, there's a glowing thing over there. Maybe I want that. Let's go towards the glowing thing, I guess. 
It looks easier to start in that direction. So I can hold space to speed it up. Uh, go up here, I guess. Oh, okay. Easy as that. What's this? So is your is the energy meter not going down? Yeah, it's going down slightly. You enter a cave after just a few steps, you feel an icy wind on your face. It seems to be coming from inside the cave. I follow the wind. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling blocking your path as you deftly search for gaps between the enormous rock formations. Ducking beneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. Just a moment later, you feel a sharp pointed object boring into your shoulder. Lip pressed together in pain, you turn back. It's just not worth it. You are once again in the vast <laughs> entrance of the cave. Um, nah, I don't need to really think surely. Wait, so I gained some experience by going into that cave. Well, I don't really need to sleep because I don't really need no. the stats. So I guess I just leave the And it's cave. not night time yet either. I guess it's like halfway through the day. So it doesn't seem like I can climb up this way. Oh, can't? Oh. Well, because there's these edge rocks that I can't seem to climb. I want to turn the camera around more, like, and see if I can click on those blocks. Because I could go up there, but there wouldn't be much point. Let's try and go down here, I guess. Right, I can rotate the camera. There we go. Can I climb up here? Climb! And then go okay, here. That energy. Okay, so like you could, when you're walking, like uses almost nothing, but like climbing up. Climbing uses a lot of energy. Uses yeah. An old woman okay. sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strengths. You do as she suggests and regain warmth. I don't know. I don't. Do I need health? I got health. Warmth. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the hut magically disappears. I'm trying to get to here, I guess. Right. It's it's very far up. What I Okay, so what oh happens is every week there's a free game in Epic and sometimes I just look yeah. at the image and I go, Oh, it's a game about climbing a mountain. I was like, Okay. <laughs> it's probably like a first person game, you just have to climb a mountain, yeah. that'd be interesting. I didn't know it was fucking, <laughs> you know, Civ. <laughs> Choose your own adventure serve. Choose your yeah. own adventure serve, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I guess I want to get over here. It's going to cost a lot of energy, though. This is like a random encounter, I guess. Hopefully it's... Uh, I think you have to, you have to just sleep at night time, surely. I think this game is like... I'm looking at the store page. Apparently it's like a, a roguelike game. Yeah. So there's like hardcore stuff. Sense. Oh, it's things. not a woman in a hut, is it? The scent alone is invigorating. Uh, what sort of uh, effect might the brew have on you if you were to take a sip? Um, I sneak up on the kettle and I steal oh, some of her brew. Food. Well, I lose sanity, apparently, if I do that. I can approach lose. the stranger and ask for a taste, but I'll lose a bit of warmth or I can continue my journey. So do I, do I steal the <laughs> stew and lose temperature? Oh, do I steal the stew and lose sanity or do I approach but and ask at the cost of my temperature? Problem, my problem is, is that either way, like you don't know what it is. So I'd rather like ask her than what it is. All right, let's see what it is. When the stranger notices you, he stares daggers, he shouts at you, and while you don't understand the words, you certainly get the message you're not welcome. You don't want any trouble, so you continue on with your journey. Plus XP. Let's go, Tim. I've leveled up. I've got to choose my next skill. <laughs> well, I found five survive. Or survive, I'm sorry. Um, oh, this seems pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. Reduce energy cost? Yeah. All right, let's take that. That seems pretty, pretty busted, in my opinion. Uh, this is a broken build. Oh, it's nighttime now. Look, the screen's yeah. changed. I'm guessing yeah. I'm going to have to try and, and sleep. It's cold. Yeah. So let's open my... So I can... I've got a tent I can use. Um... As there were three uses, so... <laughs> yeah, let's that, keep that, moving for sweet. now while I still have... Because I'm guessing I'm going to recharge energy and temperature, maybe. So let's keep moving. I, I assume so. I'd hope so. Are you kind of nice to know, like, if you, like, hovered over the, um, 
the tent it would say like what what things would increase but i guess the tutorial is telling you anyway that tutorial was in german i mean they are german are they this is they'd look in germany in the bottom right when you side the um when you side the game okay german gaming uh we can go to this cave and go to sleep i guess Oh, that's true. There's nothing in. It could be a troll. There cave. won't be anything bad in the cave. I've I've, <laughs> okay. said, I've I've glimpsed it. There's a, there's only a metallic clanging coming from one of the passages. As this one was banging a hammer against oh, a heat good. pipe. Oh well, you'd love to you'd love to see if there's something hot in there. <laughs> you walk a few steps around the passageway. The clanging gets louder, but it's so dark it's hard to say how far away the noise is coming. Well, you just keep going. Coming one hand on the wall. <laughs> you make your way forward carefully. The clanging sounds muffled and regular as if it were coming from a broken machine of some sort. You work further into the cave system. Suddenly the noise stops. You wait a moment, but nothing. Just endless darkness and a bit of cold. What were you thinking? I'm going... Uh, this is like Eldritch Horror. I'm just going fucking insane. Yeah. I'm just hearing <laughs> yeah. noises now. <laughs> Frustrated, you turn around and stumble back up the passageway. After a while, you stop still. Have you lost your way? You stare into the darkness. You can see something rectangular in front of you. You feel around and realize it is a metal chest. You quickly add the contents to your pack and keep going. You get lucky. After making several turns, you finally find the cave entrance and examine your find. Guess the small detour was worth it. A can of beans. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so let's lay down and sleep. Uh, do we want to sleep briefly or sleep long? Briefly will not... Uh, the sleeping like long will right. give us a lot more energy and body temperature yeah but on the left leg it turns like how much daytime you want i'm gonna get less daytime that's true should we do a quick sleep or a long sleep yeah then? i need a quick sleep okay let's do a quick sleep in the cave i mean then. you got beans if you need the energy right yeah i just have a quick can of beans on my way around you know terrain types there are three different types of terrain rock snow and ice so rock is a standard terrain, no special properties. Rubble subterrain can trigger dangerous events. Grass is a subterrain, no special properties. Snow is fine. Snow drifts can happen on those ones. And deep snow you need higher energy for. Ice is no special properties. Glacier is dangerous events. And then ice labyrinth is a terrain subtype. Requires higher time and body temperature cost. Okay, so we'll learn about those when we see them. Also, going over this is dangerous. It could trigger a bad event, I guess. Because this is one of those subtypes. Oh. But I've, I appear to be okay. A smooth sparkling stone catches your eye. Its surface is covered in delicate, complex patterns of ice crystals that remind you of saplings, ferns, and blossoms. A beautiful sight. I examine the crystals. You lovingly trace the intricate patterns in the ice with your fingertips at the gentlest touch. They disintegrate and you are lost forever. You swallow hard, tears sting in your eyes. Their fragility, their inferior beauty leaves you feeling melancholy. You decide to move on before your thoughts start to take a darker turn. Did someone with an English major write this? Because they're just pulling out all the all the words, <laughs> aren't they? Maybe a, a German, German major. Mage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. German literature. I don't know. Uh, I just feel like if I was climbing a mountain, I wouldn't. Oh, uh, we're going fast. Know. We're going full movement build. We're going full movement build. Right. I just want to walk around. You know? Fast, efficient movement. Let's go to this monolith looking thing, we, see what that is. We're going to get laughed at later that, oh, you should have invested points into thermal. You, what the you weather thinking? can change at any point every morning. You can oh, see the right. different types. Clear weather, friendly weather with no negative effects. Cold weather has a negative impact on body temperature, especially at night. And stormy weather has a negative impact on energy and time costs and reduce your visual range. Cool. No, 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 no. We'll go here. Stop here. We want to. Can I? Okay. Go here then. A jingling feels around you. You're harmless and me me melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop. Dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting memories. You regain. I think we need sanity. Because otherwise we're just going to go fucking nuts, aren't we? I keep seeing I, things in I'm the dark, but sometimes I get a chest. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, we, we got a bad event. You approach a canyon and notice that a rope has been stretched across it. What could have done that and can you risk using it? Ooh, okay, this is risky. What you, what you so think? I can What? So I can either what shimmy across the rope to cross the cannon, or I could turn around and take a detour. Do we trust this rope? rope is, I trust the rope. We lose sanity, but we've got some sanity. You wrap your legs around the rope and pull yourself across the cannon inch by imp. The rough fibers of the rope cut into your palms, but you ignore the pain. You can almost you are almost on the other side, but the rope suddenly goes slack. You swing forward and slam into the rock face with an almighty schmack. With trembling hands, you pull yourself up onto the rope to the edge cliff you've survived, but your torso is peppered with bruises. How? All right, let's keep going. Interesting, I got bruised, but I didn't lose any health. <laughs> yeah, interesting. You catch a scent on the wind, burning wood. You follow your nose, and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patch dingy looking tent next to the tent the glowing embers of a campfire met a thin plume of smoke you look around not a soul for miles so I can call out in case there's an owner nearby which will cost me a lot of energy I can't really I can't really nah, spend nah. energy I think I'm just going to have to search the tent <laughs> you find a fur pouch and rubbish through its content turns out to contain some provisions which could they belong to you would the owner be willing to share them with you if you wait a while, but no one returns to the tent. You try to take it as a sign and relocate some of the pouch contents into your pocket. We got some oxygen. Log in. Can I rotate these like an attache case? I hope so. Um, let's go up here. Stone switch. You come across a ruined foundation of a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in a recess just as you're about to gather them. A protruded stone catches your eye. Looks like it can be moved. Some kind of strange switch, perhaps? I flip the switch. Oh, God, that costs a lot of energy. You push the switch, <laughs> but it jams. You press it harder until beads of sweat form on your forehead. Then there's a click and a cluck. And a secret compartment opens up in the floor. Your heart jumps with joy. I Inside is valuable equipment. Oh, heavy boots. Gonna, like, Minus fifteen percent energy cost on stone. Ooh. That is I flipping thought, um, huge. I thought you were gonna like click it and it's like, oh, it, it was just a stone more right, I'm gonna eat. Stone. I'm gonna eat a can of beans because I think we need a oh, bit more energy. Yeah. Are, you gonna, are, you, are you gonna equip your boots? I did. Uh, oh, do I need to pull them onto the thing? Oh, you need to put them here. And there you have it, Tony. The heavy boots build. You love to see it. <laughs> the heavy, efficient boot build. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Don't, so I, we can go over here. Hit the boots. We can go over here for around. This may change the weather. I'm not sure what that does. Or oh, I can zoom in for full immersion. Gaming. Uh, this is very positive reviews on Steam, but only like 600 people have reviewed it. So it seems like it's... Right. The people who have played it, it seems pretty well reviewed, but it's not like a massively popular game. So it seems like it's probably a good one to do a spotlight on because I yeah. saw this on Epic as a free game and I was like, what is this game? Like, I didn't even understand what the game was. But it's actually pretty interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can see what I see playing, playing this. So do we, do we want to go here? I don't want to see. Let's see what this weather one is. I'm kind of curious. That's why they call me Whiskers. The, the left way seems out the way. Where is this like? This I mean, we're gonna have to go to. Can I go to sleep in the day? Because I'm gonna run out of energy soon. I'm gonna have another can of beans. I think. <laughs> you don't want to keep that for later. I mean, clean, I have clear thing. weather. I don't. Let's just let's just do it for science. Let's see what it does. You lean against a rock, a distant melody reaches your ear, soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe origins are a mystery. Whatever, it makes you smile. Oh, so I got sanity experience points. Oh, very nice. Oh, but the left one, look at that. Reduce energy costs when moving and climbing. Minus 22% energy on all terrains type. Wait, that's a rare. Yeah. <laughs> Reduce time I, cost I, when moving. Nah, Wait, these I, are I limited time effects. Here. They only yeah. last for 24 hours. I thought these were permanent. Yeah. God damn it. Sort by group. Okay, interesting. 
But you're about uh, to like, climb some cliff faces, so... There's a cave here. Uh, we might need to go to bed. A cave. There's a cave There's up cave there, there as well, though. Yeah, would I have the energy to make that? I have no idea. That'd be kind this, of nice Is to this know. how much energy it costs, this red one? Oh, I guess so, yeah. Let's try it. Let's go over there. You have got the rare thing to make. Like, legendary lose boots. Lot, lot legendary noise. boots. A legendary effect. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't pass out. You know. Yeah, you want to use the most out of the good weather because I feel like it's going to make a turn for the worse. You know, it's a strong smell. Well, you always follow the smell, don't you? <laughs> You're unable to find anything except tufts of fur and bones. Well, it's an XP gain. It's an XP gain. Okay. Wait, do we want to... Can, can I do a long sleep? And So even a long sleep won't take me through the night. And a brief sleep will put me at the start of night. Mm. Yeah. Is there another cave nearby? The one behind me. I mean, you can always put your tent out. Like, I feel like the cave is just like, a free sleep. Yeah. I think if you sleep in a cave, you get resistance to body temperature as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could. This is a pro gamer move. I could do a long sleep into nighttime and then uh, sleep again in the tent, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we just walk away. Uh, is there a cave? There's a cave up here. Let's go to this cave. Oh yeah, look, look at it. You got, we got the bonuses. We've got the the boots. We can make it big time. Well, that is the is this the first. Is that snow? So you can see like individual effects as you go on to the yeah. It's the first snow, I think. Um, we might actually. Oh, be... the normal snow was fine. Oh man, you always follow the smell. <laughs> As you came across a small water hole, a thin ray of light falls from an opening. The solid rock reflects in the water surface, creating an intricate light pattern that mesmerizes you for a moment. Gain okay. sanity and I, XP. Huge. I, I thought you were going insane, but you gained sanity, so I guess you think you're okay. I always yeah. go into these cave things, and it's like, yeah, good effect. I think we have to sleep here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck I'll it. We'll go to night time. I need the energy bad. So there's, a cave. there's another cave over here, but it's going to be... I think I just walk through the night. Maybe just try and find some chests. These monolith things are yeah. always glowing. I'm going to go to this one. I don't know if it's... Is it a problem? Like, I think it's just colder at night. Yeah. Then on a rock to relax, a pleasant warm spot slowly fills your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It is warm. So warm the ice and stone melts around it. And this, why didn't you notice that before? You close your eyes and you regain. I don't really need either. I just, I guess, warmth because I'm going to get colder out here. Makes sense. Let's grab a chest. I think provisions are always good here because I need more equipment if I can find some. <laughs> so there's a bird's nest. <laughs> you find some herbs in the nest. Okay, it gives me minus one heart, but plus 20 sanity. Um, okay. I'm guessing the oxygen is used later. So it says here oxygen is used yeah. in the death zone high up in the mountain. Okay, so oxygen's going to be important later in the game, I guess. Man, it's getting like quite... Um... I didn't realize it was that high up. As I'm climbing, yeah. I'm revealing more of the mountain. That's quite um, far away. I wonder, yeah, how how, how long is a, a mountain climb normally? How like, oh, it's like 10 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, a real mountain? Yeah, oh, it's, it's easy. It's a couple of minutes, yeah. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to... Oh, oh God, it's snowing it's now. Storm. All right, let's go have a look at this. While staring at the starry sky, you notice there's a shooting star. You make a wish for energy. Oh, huge. We got the energy wish. <laughs> Excellent. That's I assume good, yeah. climbing is a lot harder. In, yeah, it's much harder. In the storm. 
Um, let's go grab a, uh, go grab a provision here. I mean, I'm playing on the, uh, three times time lap, so it goes a lot faster, but you can play this a lot slower and be like, hey, I'm going to look at every single piece of terrain I'm going over. Hmm. You're trudging across a snow-covered plain when your boot catches on something stretching lengthwise along the ground. You're stunned to cover a thick black cable. Why is it here? And where does it lead to? I follow the cable, I pull on the... I pull on the cable, I continue my journey. So pulling the cable is four hours of daytime. Pulling on the cable is 8.9 energy and continuing oh is God. not... Okay, I, we, we got time to follow the cable, right? It's stormy, so yeah. Cable leads to the edge of a small canyon. You can see that it runs down the sheer cannon slope, ultimately disappearing into a pile of rubble at the end, at the bottom. It seems clear that there was an avalanche here. Is it worth climbing down to take a closer look? Minus 12 energy. Oh, we'll have a look. Boulders, okay. some okay. of the side of a wagon wheel, crash down onto the floor of the canyon as you grope your way from ledge to ledge. Finally, you feel solid ground underneath your feet again. You immediately inspect the pile of rubble through a crack. You can see a cavern. The rubble must be blocking the entrance to something. Maybe it was a hideout for the occupiers. So I can try to gain access to the hideout, I get XP, and I get two hours of my time, which is going to put me further. I mean, it's if I search the top level of... It's not that much difference yeah, I, to search the top, no. so maybe I just gain access to the hideout, right? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, we've, we've gone this far. You heave the boulder oh, after boulder from the crack until it's wide enough to call through it. Feet first, you scout forward into the darkness. Suddenly the ground quakes and you feel a weight in your legs. You panic and attempt to pull your feet towards you, uh, but the rock presses into your legs from above, pins you into a place like a vice. You can feel oh. the sharp edge of the stone piercing your flesh. You scream, twisting and contorting on the rocky ground. You give your legs one last powerful tug and you're free. You apply makeshift bandages to your abrasions and continue on your legs before you continue on your way. Uh, sorry, contusions on your legs before you continue on your way. At least you're able to discover some provisions. I've got a sleeping tent. So, so no damage though. What? I find it... Yeah, my legs have got contusions, but it didn't cost <laughs> any energy, so... I don't like the death zone. <laughs> um... Oh, does this have... Like, do these... Wait, the, those ones on the left have... They're not timers. They're just... They give in certain areas, I guess. So this is only active during the... End uh, of the mission. And this is until the end of the mission. But this one's for 24 That's hours. Um, lower energy costs on steep train, Ooh, 2 plus innovation, but increases sanity loss. So minus 0 0.2 sanity per hour when moving. So I can trade sanity for energy, which I think I kind of need to do right now. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm sort of really low on energy. I mean, I could take a 10, right, if it gets too late. we got more tents now, so I, and I think a lot of room in inventory, so... There is a cave up here. True. You always explored the cave. I mean, yeah, you can have a look in the cave, obviously. Just from very uh, dodgy terrain now. Mm. It's costing me a lot of energy. Yeah. I might need to sleep soon just for energy, to be honest with you. I could have a quick sleep. I mean, I'm going to follow the wind. <laughs> okay. What? A grinding noise at last I can only dodge the point the projectile that comes crashing down from above. It is a hair breath from piercing your torso. Then you see something that makes your blood run cold. A short distance ahead of you is a corpse riddled with stalactites. That poor soul, for you have only had your luck. Feeling more than a little quizzy, you almost through the fur pouch you was carrying, you find progressions and hastily tuck them into your pack, then you leave. This place is just too dangerous. So I'm losing 21 warmth when I'm getting plus a flower, a sanity herb, and some XP. Huge. So a long sleep... Yeah, I've got a sanity herb. I'm going to do a long sleep here, I think, for uh, yeah. energy... Yeah, we got two herbs that slightly damage you but replace your. Oh, so here's the uh, vision stuff coming in. I'm struggling to see too far ahead of me now. Oh, because stormy and nighttime, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a you chest up here by, by the looks of it. Uh, 
So I can grab a chest here, but I'm not even sure I can keep going up that part of the mountain with this vision. Seems like I can go there's a way around here, maybe? Depends if I- I don't really need part. provisions, right? Let's just go up here. No, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. How do I cancel my path? Uh, at the top, can you like click it and cancel? Oh no, that's just... Um... Let's R to rest. How do I cancel? I'm on the God Seed, God Seed. Um, right click, it says. There we go. There we go. I'm going to daytime now. It's daytime now. Death zone entered. Oh, okay. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Effects decrease energy cost for a short time. I will take it slow, decrease oxygen loss for a longer time. Before I ascend, I will mend my runes. So, nah, we're, going to, we're speed running. We're speed running. <laughs> I'm going to the top of that bloody mountain if it kills me. I'm concerned how far away it still is. I've got a can of beans. How far away could it be? We've ah, also got some oxygen bottles. Oh, I just climb over. I could just climb Surely. over the rocks. Oh Surely. my god. Let's keep going. Surely there won't be another bad event. <laughs> what if there's more beans than provisions? Oh, the beans look so, so nice. Hot, Hot tea. tea. You can get body oh, temperature. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. I mean, I could take provisions here. I mean, it's is it? It's not free, is it? It's kind of free. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I think you can consider it free. Like, there could be more beans. Breath is taken away, towering in front of you. The slopes of the bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow, and several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call up, but no one answers. Uh, what do we do? I approach the camp, check the slope, go to the first tent. Go to the first tent. Then that, that'll give you beans. When you preach the That's camp, the eyes crunch beneath your boots. Every step could be your last. You close your eyes. Finally, you reach your goal. The camp has been abandoned, but not a soul in sight. They surely left long ago. You rummage through things they left behind and find some equipment. At least your efforts weren't in vain. So we get minus temp, minus oxygen, two hours, and plus one, whatever that is. Ooh, boots. Minus 25% energy cost on ice. That's a shame I already have a pair of boots. Wait, is everything ice 20... here? There's stone and ice, yeah, right? Yeah, ice is ice. It's 25%, isn't it? Little Minus... 15%. Well, what do we want to... Do we want to delete... We have to kind of delete these boots because I can't rotate things. No, no, no. You can just move one of your flowers to the... No, no, no. no. Yeah. I'll go on this random event. You spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. So instead of walking over to the deer stand to search for provisions, you hear a rumbling. It sounds like an avalanche. You hear the snow cloud on the horizon. It's heading straight for you. It's going to cost me 24 <laughs> energy to search this deer stand. I think I continue. I can't afford that. Yeah. Okay, what's we, we the... Got What's the path here? Do I go around here? Well, we've got I... ice boots. I think we go the ice way. That is true, yeah. We... I think it's the base and then switch shoes. Well, you mean like... Oh, yeah. Climb across these rocks. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got the rock boots at the moment. And then... I'll just take this really dangerous path because it's quicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, surely I won't get a uh, random bad event. I mean, I won't... Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> You're crawling on the slope on all fours when you feel a tremble beneath you. A bowl the size of a wagon wheel is reeling straight for you. 
I leap out of the way for 25 energy or I just don't move. I'm just going to stand still. <laughs> the bottle holds close and kind of rumbles past you, plummeting into the depths. You heave out a sigh of relief. You. you assess the situation you. correctly. Job. You know what? I just planted my feet like a giga chat and I'm like, you won't hit me. <laughs> it, it reacts to movement. Yeah. If you know, hey, listen here. Hey, listen here, Rock. If you know what's good for you, you won't fucking hit me. Yeah. Right. Now, now, you always change your shoes outside in the middle of <laughs> This makes sense. Right. I guess it kind of makes sense. But... I just, oh my god, this is costing a lot of. I need to go to sleep soon as well. We are actually kind of gaming right now. I don't know what it would have if it wasn't Look, 25%. This is the top. This is the, oh, this it's is right the, there. We're getting Wait, so close to the top of the there? mountain. Okay, right. We can go up this ice, but look at this. Yeah, okay, okay. Fucking hell. Oh, I don't think I, I have any just... beans either. I'm going to need to sleep soon. Anyway, yeah, so if I go... If I go here, and then sleep... Oh, it's not time. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't have enough oh, energy we... to do that. Okay, now I'm going to sleep. Or well, there's a sleep menu, I think it said. Yeah, sleep long. We have... But you still lose oxygen when you're asleep, I guess. Well, okay. unfortunately, when you're alive, Tony, you're breathing. Is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I just thought maybe like you're breathing less. You're not like exercising, so I thought basically it still goes down less. What the? What the? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I Why think are you quite? I, I think. I think you queue stuff up instead of uh, cancelling. Wait, maybe I can't go up there. Oh, fuck. I thought I was right there. No. No, look. I can't I can't climb well, up can there. You go, yeah, can you go around to the left? Oh, my God. Guys, this might uh, be... The, I think it, the run's over. I think I'm fucked. We can have... Um, we can do more of a sleep. Yeah, I can sleep, I guess. Jesus Christ, how far can I get? Are you concerned on the beans? I need, like, a random bean event in order to climb this yeah. mountain. Any beaners? I don't think there are even cans of beans. I just made that up. <laughs> well, they look like beans. It's fine. They're just, they're just as a can of food, I think. Yeah, beans. Um. There are vents up there. Okay. There's a lot of like these jagged rocks. I can try here for this, for this chest. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get um energy here. Dig deeper, lose oh, energy. Right. I dig it around just around the surface. Yeah. You move the stone to the left of the foot. There doesn't appear to be anything useful here. I got XP, though. <laughs> Do we ding? Oh, fuck. The... Okay. <laughs> I don't need sanity. No. Never use a consumer item, you get body temperature. Eh. Increase oxygen gain per hour. Yeah, we need oxygen as well. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, I'm running out. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two oxygen balls. We're so close. I can't even tell if I can actually get up there, though. Like, can I get... Yeah, I can't get up there. No, I think just get to the top of the ice and see. I don't know if I can... Like, if I get to the top of this ice, right? Well, you got the ice pieces, is what I'm thinking. You can... Um... Yeah, but look, if I go up here, I can't... Yep. I don't think I can go anywhere here. Like to get here, it's pathing me like down here, and then yeah. like. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't think you can click there. But I think this is running out of energy. I think I just climb up here and see what happens. Ah shit! Oh, no. <laughs> I attempt the jump. 
You can't make the jump cleanly, hitting the other side. I lose one health. I don't care. Health is meaningless in this game. Health is a meme stat. Look, there's rocks blocking my path here. Yeah. Oh, I could take... Oh, God. I need to sleep. I actually have to sleep. Yeah, I think it's that time as well, anyway. Um, so let me... Take, take, take an oxygen bowl. Oxygen up. And then... Whiff of the good stuff. Sleep. Yeah, I can take body right. temperature as well with hop tea. Reduce the only cost for I... climbing for a limited time duration three hours. Maybe I should have been using this climbing rope. Are you telling yeah, are you gonna tell me definitely... to put the heavy boots on? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense here, right? Yeah. Or I could put it on in a second because I'm still technically on ice, I think. So you switch boots. Gonna use a tent here. Sleep long. Okay, this is this is this is the run. This is the run. It's, I believe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I think I need to go around. Right down. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, bootstrap, bootstrap. Switch boots. Okay. I've got to go. We can't really see. Yeah. This is the pro gamer move. This is a pro gamer move. Oh, wait. This is. I was kind of free, but you know what? We don't need it. Oh, my God, Tony. We're doing it. We're going to. The, we're reaching the summit. Oh, my God. Is this it? Is this the run? Oh, huge, dude. Your heart feels light and feels its joy as you sound the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You save the moment uh, is yours and yours alone. Surely you have to make your way back down. No, no one has to make their way back down. They just have to get to the top and then everything's just, okay. okay. What an adventure, what a view. Off in the distance you can see more mountains, higher even than the ones you are standing on. Ah, oh, shit. And what's that? Something stands atop one of them. Long and thin. From the distance, it looks like an antenna. But that can't be right, or can it? You want to take a closer look. You aren't done exploring yet. But first, you have to get out the death zone and find a safe place to take a break. Okay. Because it is there. Hey. I really thought that was the top of the mountain. Guys? You want to check out Insurmountable. It was given away free and epic. You might already have this game, but it's also available on Steam for about, well, it's 18 pounds off sale, but apparently it goes on sale for about four pounds. So if this looks interesting to you, um, make sure to check this out and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.